Step six, high level desires. This is the part of the full guide which I think might save you decades of your life. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Decades of your life saved because high level desires are something that no one's ever spoke to you about. We'll say the low level desires are those things that we've been talking about so far. It's the porn, it's the video games, it's the sugar, the things that we all know are wrong for us. The high level desires are the things that seemingly are productive and yet might still be wrong for us overworking, too much ambition. How different is the depressed millionaire who needs to keep working, 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 working from the fat man who needs to keep eating, 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 eating? They both have this incessant desire for more, 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 not good enough, uh, unsatisfied, more. But the depressed millionaire we rank so highly these days, they're both as soulless as each other. They're both as depressed and unhappy and unhealthy as each other. But the millionaire we will regard with so much social status these days, the millionaire doesn't want to be alive. Only with everyone's attention to his ego does he feel anything. This is why these guys you see a lot as like influencers. More attention, more attention, more money. Validation, please, 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 please. You might think that I'm going crazy at what I'm getting at here. I'm saying that working too hard, making money, being ambitious, setting goals might actually be a desire that's bad for you. Just open up your mind to this realization that I've had, okay? If you knew that the next level of your business success, let's say, you know, it's 10 years from now, you're happily married and everything, and you knew that the next level of your business success, you pursuing it was going to be, you know, super, super hard work, that you would literally ruin your family, that you would literally get divorced from pursuing the next level because of how much harder you needed to work and you know you started to like almost resent and push away your family and they felt so withdrawn from you. If you knew that desiring more money was going to lead you to getting divorced and being unhappy, would you still do it? How about for athletes? If you knew that desiring to win that upcoming season was literally going to get you divorced and, you know, for your child to develop like this weird conditional love feeling where now they've, they've got like slight trauma for the rest of their lives and they don't even like you and your woman wants to leave you. If you knew that those things were going to happen because of chasing the next level of success, too much success, would you still chase it? I don't blame you for not wanting to listen to this part of this video. Almost it seems a bit crazy at what I'm saying because everyone online, Every influencer that you see these days who's going viral is is so materialistic. So like everyone just wants more money, more success, more like, you know, this is what we're covering our soul on top of. Here we are all broken inside, but more money. Okay, you know, we can go get the car and the watch and the fancy subscribe, you know, the subscribers, the likes and everything. This is all what we're thinking about. But again, this is like a low level of ambition. You know why? Because constantly desiring more success and more money, it's fucking normal. It's mediocre. Everyone wants this, right? By watching a full guide like this, where you're studying willpower as a topic, you're not normal. You're not average. And yet, average mediocre people, including those which who seemingly seem very successful, rich, you know, influencers and everything, they're all here. They just want more success, more success, more success. They're trapped in the matrix. They're trapped in the matrix that they tell you that they're going to free you from. And then they tell you to make more money to free yourself from the matrix as if making money wasn't part of the matrix. Hmm. Once you take a step out of this circle, you know, obviously I'm speaking very openly now of, of the kind of influencers who are in the men's space. But once you take a step out and you like detach away from technology, you, I, I can't help but look at like every male influencer these days and think of how pathetic it is that like they're all at level one. They're all just chasing toys, find like, you know, fancy cars and nice handshakes from each other, taking pictures and shirts and thinking, yep, this is the life, you know, I, you know, this is it. <laughs> Just more materialistic success as if that was going to change anything. Now, we need to integrate more of our soul and spirituality into our lives. Otherwise, we will live shallow, empty lives. Because the pursuit for more success makes you weak. Greed constantly moves the goalposts. The goal used to be to make a comfortable living. Then it went to 5k a month. Then it went to 10k a month. Then it's at 100k a month and it's still not enough. Now we don't need to get to 2 million subscribers and 3 and 4 and 5. When does it stop? When do you look inwards and you realize that everything that you've been chasing isn't going to change anything because 
All you can actually change with your life is in the internal. No one is less free than these businessmen who are on the hedonic treadmill, constantly needing more and more and more. They may speak about freedom. They may tell you that they are so free. They're not. They have to be in Dubai for six months a year and they don't even like being there. So how are they free when they're literally in like a desert prison, which they're not allowed to leave? They're not as free as you think they are. Their lives aren't as good as they make you believe. It's only because they're trying to sell you their lifestyle and, you know, they've got a nice course or program that you can buy to have the nice, you know, like, oh, I look at me, I, I, I've got money and status, I've got a shirt, and look, here's a picture of me and a girl, see? Oh. These men are not free. Now, this isn't to say that you shouldn't make money. That's not what I'm saying at all. I think you should work super hard. I think you should contribute a lot to the market and to help people and naturally the market will pay you back for that and you'll make a lot of money. But focusing on materialism, focusing on, on these like high level desires needing to make more money, more validation, more success, that's weakness. The less you desire, the stronger you become. This book explains the way that we could live our lives. This is a complete guide to masculinity. And inside of this book, you hear about the concept of purpose that often is spoke about a lot these days. A lot of influencers are talking about, you know, purpose, purpose, purpose. If they're not spiritual, they don't understand what purpose is. Your purpose is your soul's reason for being on this earth. It is the core desire that you have. So imagine inside of you, deep inside of you, there is a core desire, something that you want to fulfill to be able to live like the most magical, best life possible. Only you don't actually know what that core desire is. If you think you do, you're probably delusional. You don't know what it is. We're not at that stage just yet. So we don't know what the core desire is, but you know we need to know, we need to fulfill this core desire to feel like we're, we're living right in our lives. The reason why is because all the desires get placed on top of you. You are born with this core desire and then your parents look at you and say, oh, I really hope you get good grades in school. Really hope you get a high status job that makes me feel good because I worked a shitty job. And so my son, you will work a high status job so I can live vicariously through you. Here is a desire to put over your core desire. Then your teachers has more desires Then the news, then the TV shows has more desires, has more desires. Put that over your, your one that you were meant to fulfill. By the time you're 10 years old, you've got hundreds of desires. These concentric circles, yours is right in the middle, right there at the core. But there's hundreds that have been placed on top of you. Got to act like this. Got to be friends with this guy. Need that shirt. Need that like earphone thing that everyone else has got. High status. Parents want you to act like this. Need the grades. Oh, the movie. More desires, more desires, more desires. And then you wake up. Then you're like, yeah, you know, like watching these guys on YouTube is really good. You know, watching the influencers. Okay, men's issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel free now. And the people who you think are helping you right now, probably including me, all of these male influencers, they're putting more desires onto you. Well, you should be making this much money a month. And you know, this is a better business. The top seven ways to make money online, the top three ways to make 10,000 a month. They're just putting more desires, more desires, more desires. So you've got hundreds of desires over your core heart desire right now. This is why I don't even go to the gym anymore. Because I was in the gym one day, you know, feeling kind of like purposeful. I'm journaling and everything. And then I go up, I'm on the assault bike and a guy walks past and he's bigger than me. He's more muscular than me. He's got more veins than I do. And instantly my brain and my heart started to form a new desire. Maybe I should bulk and make more muscle. Or maybe I should get back into martial arts because in cases me and this guy had a fight, then I'd be able to whoop his ass. And I start actually daydreaming this and adding it to like my perception of my goals, the direction I should go to in life. It takes me like minutes to realize, wait, I just set like a plan for the rest of my life 
you know, to take martial arts so seriously based on some guy just walking past me who had biceps this extra centimeter bigger than mine. And then I'm looking around at the entire gym thinking about how many random desires, goals get formed inside of me just because of what I'm seeing in this environment. And then I go on YouTube and it's the exact same thing there. Maybe I should move to Dubai. Maybe I should make more money. Maybe it's this business model. Maybe it's this one, it's this one, it's this one, it's this one. And before you know it, you've got so many desires over the thing that you were genuinely supposed to do in life. You have a core desire and it is your duty as a man. That is your purpose. That's that's your duty as a man to try and fulfill that. And that should give you apparently like the greatest life that you could have as a man. That's what every spiritual teacher that I read seems to say. But these days, purpose, when you hear about it online, but that word purpose has been bastardized by these male role models, including myself, for so long to just kind of mean like, yeah, just work, just work hard and just, you know, work on the kind of business that I recommend you to do. Do you see why what we're talking about might save you decades of your life? Your life is only worthwhile if you're fulfilling this core purpose, this core desire inside of you. But there's hundreds, maybe even thousands of extra desires put on top of that, which are happening because of like the external influences. You go onto Instagram and Mike Thurston's there and he's got the best physique in the entire fucking world. You're like, how the fuck can I compete with this guy, bro? Oh, maybe I should do, his quads look really big. Maybe I should do some leg extensions. Maybe I should open my own modeling company because he's, he's next to some high level people right now. And before you know it, there's more desires, more desires, more desires. Those extra desires weren't the things that you were supposed to do with your life. And yet you will pursue them because of this like monkey see, monkey do, monkey need status life that we live in these days. So imagine spending your life, your valuable time, chasing and fulfilling desires that someone else put onto you, that came onto you in such stupid ways that there was a guy who was bigger than you in the gym and he walked past you, you felt insecure and you felt like, yep, I, you know, I'm gonna dedicate myself to a martial arts then just in case as if he said anything to me, here you are four years later, you know, you've had a pretty good life training this, this skill, fair enough. But that wasn't the thing that you were meant to do. That wasn't actually totally aligned to you. Now this isn't to say don't do martial arts because it might actually be the, the core real desire. But this is to say that we shouldn't be spending our life and our time fulfilling other people's desires. Rather, we should look inwards and figure out like what, what is authentic to us and achieve that. That's why I've included this section in this willpower guide because we need to use willpower to push off not just the low level desires, not just the desire for video games and for porn, but the seemingly productive desires are harder to restrain from. The seemingly productive desire where like you see a tape podcast and he's talking about making money in this business model. That's forming a desire in your heart which wasn't there, which wasn't supposed to be there. That's the kind of desire that you need to strip away and say to yourself, that didn't form from my own heart or my own mind. That formed from social media. If it comes from social media, it's probably not a good thing. And again, I'm super guilty of this because not only have I, you know, this happens to me, I feel the desires, but I've put these desires onto you with over 800 videos where I've told you, okay, be like this, act like this, do this thing, do this business model, text your girl like this. I've put all these extra desires onto you thinking that I've been helping you all this time and rather I've maybe I've been wasting your life. That's why I've been making these full guides on deeper, more mature topics rather than those like surface level, top seven ways to message girls type of videos, which they get a lot of views, those videos. You see every YouTuber, every influencer play this game where they're just trying to get as many views as possible for their benefit, not for yours. And so every fucking YouTuber is making these top seven business models to get to $10,000 a month. It's fucking pathetic. Because those videos, they're making it for their own money. They don't give a fuck about you. Even when you're watching it with full intent, you're not learning anything real from these fucking videos, these listicles, these random little shallow videos. But worse than that, not even just wasting 20 minutes of your life, that's bad enough, but like worse than that is like that this influence is putting on desires onto you. You should live like this. You should be like this. You should do this. This is the business model. This is the way to act. When they don't know what your core desire is. Worst of all, 
you don't even know what your core desire is. Perhaps at this age, we should know like the trajectory ahead and actually think to ourselves, this is what I was genuinely born to do. But we can't do that because I think there's genuinely thousands of desires of like, you know, things that we need, of we crave, that the modern world has told us that it's it's needed. And so we want a nice watch. We want the, oh, you know, Hamza's like, the jumper looks good. Hamza, where did you get that little necklace from, Hamza? Oh, you know, oh, is that the whoop? Did you use the whoop or the, the aura ring? And before you know it, here's another thing that you need to go and buy. Here's another thing, you know, that's increasing your monthly expenses. Now you need to go spend your time, like, you know, trading time for money, wasting parts of your life just to afford the expenses that you didn't actually need, but that you believe that you do. When really, like, you should be doing something so simple that would give you the greatest life quality that there is, which is pursuing your purpose. How do you find your core desire, like your purpose, the thing you should be doing? First of all, you need to limit inputs. You need to limit the things, all of this conditioning that's going inside of your brain and your heart. This means no TV. It means no useless garbage content. It means no more tape podcasts. It means no more top seven ways to make money online type of videos. Perhaps it means not watching my videos, and certainly I would agree with you for most of the videos I've ever made. I hope that the new videos that I'm making would actually be the exception because they're teaching you more like skills and mindsets which you'd actually use for the core desire. For example, the this video and the previous one, the Disciplineful Guide, they'll actually help you find your authentic self and to fulfill that authentic self. But I promise you, you know how strange this is? I'm a YouTuber. I don't watch any YouTube. I don't watch YouTube videos because it's garbage. In fact, you know what's so strange? For a lot of the people who watch my videos and who are coming here for self-improvements, their biggest lever of self-improvement would literally be to stop consuming content. Think about how crazy that is. My entire brand, my entire business is built on the thing that you're addicted to. I do believe that I've been able to have more of a positive impact on the world than a negative. Because I, as a YouTuber, don't even watch YouTube. I get all of my knowledge from books, from mentors, like teachers, and from some podcasts. Long, unedited podcasts. Andrew Huberman, Alex Hamozi, Chris Williamson, Ali Abdal intelligent people just like sort of brainwashing me for an hour or two, brainwashing in like a good way for like an hour or two, putting their words and thoughts into mine. Amazing. But you go and watch these basic self-improvement videos, top seven ways to text girls. That's not helping you at all. It might seem like it is because you're texting this random degenerate girl slightly better. But that like, like destroy the, the desire to improve texting this random degenerate girl anyway and just skip that whole step of your life. You must understand this. Your pursuit as a man is not about fulfilling every desire that pops up. Okay, so Tate says money's really important. Maybe I should buy that watch. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. It's not about fulfilling every desire because that's slow and inefficient. The faster way is to destroy the desires, to desire less, to strip as, away as many as possible, that every time you find yourself wanting something, whether it's something small, the low level desire, the sugar, or something high, like you wanna get the car or something, to keep stripping away as many desires as possible till you get to one where you're like, you know what? I actually don't think I should strip this one away. I actually think I should fulfill this one. Maybe your desire, you know, through the last hour has been like, yeah, you know what? Willpower seems like a really important skill. That's something I'm desiring. Maybe you're thinking like, yeah, yeah, I'll scrutinize it, but I can imagine willpower, like this skill actually helping me for the rest of my life. I'll desire this and I'll look more into this. Hamza's mentioned which book it is. Okay, I'll go read that. But then when you see like the, the guy on Instagram who's got a, the better watch or he's got a slightly better six pack than you, and you think to yourself, yeah, you know, like I, I would get some kind of benefits. More girls would like me. My status would go up. That's kind of nice. But is that really what I was born to do? Is that really genuinely gonna like, like be the best thing that I could spend my time doing to try and take a, a picture as good as one of these fitness influencers? Probably not. You limit inputs. 
you limit like these people talking into your brain, especially if they're quite unintelligent, like nobodies or that, you know, they're not there for your best intentions. If you've found that you've followed someone's advice and listened to their content, but it hasn't really helped you, or in fact, it's made your life like very much worse and it's been a distraction and a waste of time, stop consuming it. If you found genuine, real improvements to your life, continue. That's a wise teacher that you've got. Stay vigilant for when you catch yourself wanting something, desiring something, setting a goal and scrutinize that goal and really ask yourself, why do you genuinely want it? You might find that the desire that you have is actually authentic and it makes a lot of sense. Like for example, you might say, one of my goals is to make a thousand dollars a month in business. Why do I want it? Because right now I've got absolutely no money and I can't even afford like the bills that I have. One of my goals is to make $5,000 a month in business. Why do I want that? Because if I could give a thousand or 2000 a month to my family, that would genuinely save our lives. Awesome. But ask yourself where that desire came from. Because when you find yourself wanting a particular car, particular lifestyle, and if you're honest with yourself and you say, okay, where did this desire come from? From something I saw on social media. Probably not a good idea to go dedicate your life to fulfilling that desire because it's not going to do anything other than just take time away from you living out your actual purpose that you were supposed to do. Using the skill of willpower, which we've discussed in this full guide, on these high level desires will save you decades of your life. Because imagine the life of a normal person born as a baby and straight away desires put onto the baby. Be like this, you're such a good boy when you do this. When you sit and behave, you're such a good boy, here's a desire onto you. Parents are telling him how to act, he watches these little children's cartoon shows that eventually he's watching like TV shows and you know, the teacher's putting a desires. Okay, good grades. Grades, doing well in school becomes this, this high level desire for the next 12 years of his life. He wasn't born to think to himself, yep, need to get good grades. It was placed onto him by other people. Honestly, not very intelligent people. And so he spends 12, 15 years of his life in an education system that doesn't actually prepare him for life to pursue the desire of someone else who's put it onto him. You know, parents are telling him, yeah, here's an extra desire, have a high status job. He's trying to fulfill all that. He's just wasting his life. Now he's 30 years old. Now he's desiring the car that one of his co-workers has got. He's 35 years old and you know the female co-worker, he's desiring her. Maybe he'll cheat on his wife soon. Doesn't get laid for you know years and years and years. Eventually the desire gets fulfilled. He's 41, he ends up getting a divorce. He desires a lot of alcohol. He desires seeing his children, but he's not allowed to see them anymore. He desires killing himself. And he does it. The things you desire will shape your life. Just be careful what it is that you're pursuing. This is the most important actionable step that I've ever given out and perhaps that I ever will. Think about the high level things that you desire. Scrutinize every single thing that you desire and just ask yourself, where did it come from? Ask yourself if it's truly authentic to you. As a quick final tip for this section, if you're super interested in everything that we've just spoke about, I have a full guide to discovering your purpose, your core desire. That is, um, that's on my channel, you can go find it. But what I will say is I made that about six months ago. So my understanding has changed. I'll just tell you one tip here. I believe that your core desire in life will be linked to the things that put you into a flow state. By now, when you're watching this video, my flow state full guide will already be released. Flow state is kind of like this moment of intense focus when you're doing a specific task that for some reason puts you not other people, but you into this like super focused mode where you have no thoughts. For me, it's speaking. Every single time that I've done kind of like a speaking like task like this, I have no thoughts in my mind and it's inherently like pleasurable to be here. I believe that your core desire in life is probably related to the thing that gets you into a flow state. 
And so that's something you can consider. My flow state full guide, you can go and watch that. You can discover what things put you into a flow state and how to be more likely to achieve this flow state and produce your best work and discover yourself. One last point about this section of higher level desires. I am not saying that you shouldn't desire things like money or work or success or accomplishments, but rather those things, like let's say the money, the validation, the, the YouTube subscribers, these things should be a nice reward when you're actually desiring the right thing. When you desire the wrong thing, which is like, you know, Instagram validation, YouTube subscribers, even money, you're, you're off center, you know, you're not, you're not living out your life as you're supposed to. But for example, if you desire the right thing, which could be, could be contribute into humanity. For me, for example, think about, think about it. Like my right thing is like, I love to speak. This feels totally right for me. This is like a core desire to just speak out and explain things in my mind. And the result of that has been incredible levels of, of money, of wealth, of status, of validation. So that's also, maybe that's the better way that we pursue our work and our goals. We set the goal for actually the task that we desire so, so much. And the rewards that come along with it is just extra bonuses. This way, you're pursuing the thing that you should pursue and you're super happy to get any level of reward as an extra rather than the immature people who are pursuing just the reward and they don't even like the task that they are doing and they don't even realize that the reward they're desiring was put onto them. It wasn't even an authentic desire anyway. Money isn't a bad thing. But if you're trading your life and your purpose, if you're sacrificing your purpose for it, of course it is. And I think this is where unfortunately most young men including like the influencers the leaders of, of young men i think they're in this state where they're literally sacrificing purpose for money and validation and status and i think hordes of young men are looking up at that thinking that that's the right way to live start with purpose start with your why start with your core desire and then enjoy any level of success that comes along with that because when you are chasing your purpose and you're working super hard on this core desire, you know, let's say the core desire could be for you martial arts, Muay Thai or something, and you really get really, really good at it. Well, then you're going to make some money in validation from it. Core desire for me was speaking. And I, I just did that in a high leverage format of YouTube videos. And so it made a, like a fuck ton of money extra, but I wouldn't be happy with this subscribers and money if I wasn't fulfilling my core desire, if I was sacrificing my purpose, I'd be depressed. This, in my opinion, is the higher level of ambition. Every other person is there just thinking, yep, I just wanna, you know, just make the money and you know, oh yeah, be on your purpose, guys. You know, they're saying the word, but they don't understand it. Make money, you know, money's super important. Sure, sure. But we're more ambitious than these people that you see online, even though they seem ambitious. We're up here. Let's fulfill our purpose, our core desire, but let's also get the external material success with it. I'm not sacrificing my purpose for money like most people are doing these days. I want both. Start with purpose. Start with your real core desire. The way you find that is by limiting input. Stare at your wall. Turn everything off and stare at your wall. I'm, I'm actually speaking literally when I say that. Turn everything off and stare at your wall. Perhaps you won't do this practice for the next six months when I keep mentioning it. Perhaps you'll do it today, maybe after watching this video. If you spend some time staring at your wall with no distractions and you limit inputs, you will begin to discover who you are and you'll realize that your views and values are starting to differentiate away from the influences that you've been watching every single day. That's a good thing.